It's not that God ain't speaking to them. It's not that God ain't talking to them. They hear God just like we hear. Some folks, how is it that you hear the word? You hear it through the word of God. You hear it to those that know the law. You hear it to those that will win to you and tell you about the law. Amen. That's when the Lord is speaking. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 One of the greatest ways God speaks to us, amen, if you will, ever, uh, First Corinthians, the first chapter, I want you to get, and, and, and the 20th verse. I want you all to stay, I'm going to see how God speaks to us. And why it's so important that today when you hear the voice of the Lord, you need to do something about it. How many times have God have told you, thank God, and get yourself together. God have warned you and told you, amen, to get yourself together. He continues to have mercy on you. Jesus. How is God is speaking to us? One of the greatest ways that God will speak to us. One of the greatest ways that the Lord had chose, amen, to speak to us is through the word of God. Is through the preaching of the word of God. Uh, can I prove that to you? Yes, I can. Through the preaching of the word of God is how God chose, amen, for those who believe the preaching of the word. When God took the word of God, the thing that he had chose, it seemed to be foolish to people. Uh, but he chose the preaching uh, yes. of the gospel of the word of God uh, uh -huh. to save those that believe. Amen. Uh, my God, folks are dying and going to hell yes. uh, because of unbelief. Amen. Can I prove that to you in the word? Come on. First Corinthians, uh, uh, what I said was 1 and 20. Read it for me, Ella. World is the wise. Say, read it again. Where is the wise? Where is the wise? Some folk think they're so intelligent. Some folk think they're so smart. They think they're so intellectual. But the Lord said, where is the wise? All right. Read. Where is the scribe? Where is the scribe? Read. Where is the spirit of this world? Where is the spirit of this world? Read. And not God made foolish. The wisdom of this world. Now God took the foolish thing, the wisdom of this world, to do what? Confine the wise. Uh huh. Go ahead, read. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Knew not God. Took the wisdom of God to know everything. Mm -hmm. They didn't know God, but the wisdom of God revealed Himself to them through His own wisdom. Well, that they took it foolish. Read. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. Stop, stop. How is it? What? How did it please God? By the foolishness of preaching. Huh? Some folks, but how is it that God is talking to us? How is it that God is speaking to us? He's speaking to you through the word of God. He's speaking to you when folk give their life to the Lord. When folk witness to you and tell you, amen, about Jesus. When they tell you that Jesus is about to return, the Lord is speaking to you. But he chose here the preaching of the gospel mm -hmm. where that is foolishness to man. Where that is foolish to woman. How, why did God choose to do it? this way. Why? Because he is God. Uh, and he's Amen. able to do it the way he wants to do it. Uh, yes. He chose the preaching uh, yes. of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to confine the why when you thought uh, it was the wrong way to do it. All right. uh, but God raised up men and women. Yes. Uh, he raised up apostles. Uh, yes. He raised up pastors. Yes. Uh, he raised up evangelists. Yes. Uh, he raised up folks to be witness to him. Yes. To be saved and serving yes. and witness to a dying world yes. that Jesus is about to return. Uh -huh. But he chose the preacher uh -huh. of the gospel of Jesus Christ yes. uh, to give to you uh, yes. that you might be saved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Today, today is the most important time in your life. Uh, you. If you were here, uh, if you don't turn uh, a dull ear uh -huh. uh, to the calling of the Lord, uh, hey. the Lord is still calling people. Uh, the Lord's hand is still stretched out. Yeah. Uh, let the folks know that they need to be saved. Yeah. Uh, he wants them saved yeah. uh, and not lost. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Today is the most important time. Uh, that's why 
why you can't come to church, uh, sit up in the church, uh, and play church. Uh, give a dog ear to the preacher. Uh, right. or the right. uh, it's the most important thing uh, yes. that's in your life uh, yes. that can help you. Yes, God. Thank you. Ah, my Lord, Ooh, my God. Glory to God. Read it again. It was. It pleased who? God, my the foolishness of preaching. To see, save. It's a stop. You see why folks preaching? Mm -hmm. It please God. Amen. Folks ain't preaching because they just want to preach. Amen. If they're being called by God, God, God have already ordained that folks to be saved. All right. And become preacher and preach the gospel to a dying world. Amen. Amen. That's what he told. It seemed foolish to people. Mm -hmm. But God is speaking to them. Amen. 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 Read it again. It please God by the foolishness of preaching. To save them that believe. It could help you. Mm -hmm. It could help you. Out of all of this preaching and teaching all over this world, where it's going out on satellites everywhere, where did the word of God is being, ah, uh, my God, preached right now in church today. Some folk just sitting up in church and turning a dull ear to it, not taking heed to the word of God. Uh, right. But today is the most important day. Uh, if they will hear what does, uh, said the Lord called. Uh, he chose the preaching uh, of the gospel uh, to save them them that believe. Uh, this is how God has gave us the word. Uh, yes. For God so loved the word uh, yes. that he gave his only begotten son uh, that whosoever believe in him yes. uh, should not perish. Yes. Uh, my God would come uh, yes. come to him uh, yes, that he would give the everlasting yes. life. Yes, God. Amen. Today, 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 which means Making a decision. You don't have to stay the way you are. You don't have to die that way. You can get yourself together and be prepared for the returning of the Lord. You can be ready when the Lord calls you home. You can be ready when the rapture comes. Amen. 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 This ain't no prayer place when you come to the house of God. Sure ain't. Sit up here and pray. There ain't no prayer stuff. It's serious. It's about your life. Amen. 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 Yes. Today is the most important time in your life. Amen. Amen. Read, read, read something. For the Jews require a no, son. You stop there. Okay. You can see. Have, you have a seat. Back to the 15 verse of the book of Hebrew. While it is said today. What day? Today. 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 Even if a person don't even give their life to the Lord today, don't get saved today, it goes down on record. Amen. That you heard the word of God. However, when you responded, didn't respond, however, whatever you've done with it, it was out there. Because the word of God do not go out for it. All right. Amen. Woo. Oh my God, my God. It shall accomplish what God has sent it out to do. Amen. Amen. You will see here in this chapter here what happened to the people. Mm. While it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, it said harden not right. your what? Hearts. As in the provocation. What? Know what they're talking about? Mm. Talking about the folk after they have heard what God has offered them, what God has done for them, after God has made a way that they will be able to be saved and come out just like the Lord brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. When he brought them out, yet still a lot of them came out and they disappointed the Lord. Oh my God. The Lord got angry, mm -hmm. rage against them. Because after he delivered them, after he had stretched out his hand to them, had given them a way to come out of what they had, after he had offered them eternal life, what did they do? They hardened their hearts. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. Oh, nice, uh, that's what the Lord was showing me. He said, son, people don't want it. It's not that they're not being given what to do, right or wrong, they know. Mm -hmm. He said, they don't want it. 
My hand is still stretched out. I'm still calling folk. I'm still asking folk to give their life to me. But yet still they are denying what I have done for them. Jesus. Now his anger is up. But yet still his mercy is still out. His hand still stretched out. Telling folks to come in. Don't die in your sin. Make up your mind and come to serve me. When should I do it? He said today. Amen. Folks know they're drifting away from him slowly each and every day. And they're just taking a day after day after day still maintaining and doing what they want to do. Jesus. Ooh, this chapter something else. Mm -hmm. It said, while it is said, today if ye will hear his voice, if mean it's a possibility. It don't mean that you have not heard what the Lord has tried to do for you. It does not mean that you are just sitting back and don't hear what he's saying. I, you see the preacher for the day. I, right. And I just show you through the word of God uh -huh. that God has chosen the preaching of his gospel uh, to save them that believe. Uh, it may be foolishness. Want you right now, we're gonna still do what we want to do. My God. 
Mm. That is bold to say that. Yes, it is. When you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Amen. Huh? If God don't allow you to have new mercy tomorrow, you can't do nothing. That's right. You can't make plans. You make plans, but you can't do nothing. If God don't wake you up tomorrow, it ain't nothing you can do. Amen. They refused. And said, Lord, we ain't going to do it. Now, we can understand a lot of folks say, I don't want to play church. I ain't ready to be saved and stuff and all that. That's understandable. Yes, still you're taking a chance. Amen. You're taking a chance. Every time you hear the word of God and you choose not to serve the Lord, you choose not to give your life to the Lord, you choose not to be saved and ask the Lord to save you, you're taking a chance. Amen. 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 For some, when they have heard, he said, after they heard, see, you heard, you heard the word. Look at the folk walking around here. It's not that they're not hearing the word. They hear it through satellite. Some folks stay at home. It's right coming to church. They still, they still hear the word. Amen. They still went out without excuse. Mm -hmm. They still can't justify themselves. Well, I didn't know. You, you know. It's too much uh, technology out here now. That you right. go around right here to what you don't know. Yes, you do you know. know. Amen. You might not want to know, but you do know. Amen. Signs of the times are all around you, letting you know you need to collect and get yourself together. Amen. All uh, right, payday coming. All right. Get your house in order. This old house breaking down anyway. It's going to go back to the dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Look at the man that had the bonds. He had all them bonds and stuff. He was so self-righteous and so big-headed, you know, made himself well in the community. I got this. I got the money. I can do this. I ain't worried about nothing. I don't need nobody. I can make it on my own. Mm -hmm. My God. Look what the Lord told him. He said, thou fool mm -hmm. you. He said, this day. <laughs> he didn't say money to the wind. All right. Earth. He said, this, this day. day. Come on. Your soul is required right. of you. Mm-hmm. You see how folk go through and ain't got the soul right? All right. They both, they both, you can't take your money with you. Amen. But the Lord said, this day thy soul will be required of thee. Amen. Mm. Ain't that something? Amen. I tell you, what would a prophet of man, Woo, a woman, my God. if he or her would gain the whole world Amen. and lose Amen. her or his soul? Jesus. Why, why is it him and you that still stop you from saying, Lord, save me? Lord, save me. Lord, forgive me for all of my sin. Come into my heart and save me. After you do that, what you do? You live one day at a time. Day at a time. Amen. Amen. Uh, you live one day at a time. Try to live right that day. Amen. Don't worry about the next day. Live right that day. Amen. And if God gives you new mercy the next morning when you get up, you thank him for that day, then you get yourself together and live that day. Amen. You live one day at a time for the Lord. Amen. Huh? That's what we got to do if you want to make heaven your home. I'm almost through. I'm going to show you through the word. Today is the most important time in your life. Amen. Somewhere in your life, I don't care what you say, you can't deny it. God's speaking to you. Amen. He's speaking to your heart. He's letting you know. He know how long you're going to live, but the danger is this here. Don't overstep. Uh-oh, come on. Amen. What I mean by that, because you know how long you will live. That's right. You don't know what's waiting for you out there. Amen. You don't know how long you're going to be here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Don't overstep the day of grace. And that just simply means it's not given to you how many times you're going to hear the word of God to tell you that you need to get yourself right, to tell you that you need to be saved, to tell you you need to make up your mind and say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, save my soul. Lord, I'm coming over on your side. If I'm going to fight, I'm going to get in the battle with you and fight for my life with you. Man. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Today is the most important time in your life. Mm -hmm. Look at the plans and the things folks are doing on this day. Mm -hmm. Some of them ain't in church. They're all doing something in and everything they want to do. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. And the evidence is all around us. Folks are dying left and right. Amen. Huh? They think they enjoy themselves doing drugs. That fentanyl is killing folks left and right. Yes, it is. Huh? Just for a last nip, mm -mm. a last high. I don't mean there's so many funerals, and the first report that you ever made, that fit not hit him. It got him. It got him. He didn't know he had it, but he, he took him a pool. He did what he had to do, and it took him out. His, well, why didn't it kill him? Because, see, that, see, that's what it is. 
You got some of them guys out there that got that mess in their system. Their body them caught up with the stuff and they fight it. And then them innocent ones out their body ain't well. And them other folks there, as soon as they hit it, it takes them out. My God. It takes them out. Die young. 20, 30, 40, 25, 35. They ain't lived their life yet. Jesus. Come on, today, today is the most important time in your life. Mm -hmm. But you can make me get saved. Look, somebody need to tell you to be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's my job to tell you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Amen. if and whatever you do with it, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. But I got the blood on my hand. Amen. Now look what look what it said. I'm going to show you that the Lord that took the time aside to choose a day. He limit a time. He limited a time for you to be saved. Can anybody tell me what day to live? Today. I'm going to show you the word. All that means is when you go to church, pay attention. When God speaks to you, you can leave out in church. And God can follow you wherever you go. Amen. You can leave your car. And you can know God can quicken you right there and say, look, give my life to you. So here I am. Repent. Mm -hmm. If you mean business, all you're going to do then, you're going to find you a good church. Start coming to church and start serving the Lord and running for your life. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to show you here that God limit a day for you to be saved. And when I mean limit, it ain't Tuesday. All right. Come on. Amen. My little shot by my heart. It ain't Jeez. Wednesday. All right. It ain't Thursday. Come on. It ain't Friday, All Saturday, right. Sunday. But it's today hey. when you hear the voice of the Lord. Yeah. If it were Friday, you would say, well, I'm going to wait to Friday. You can't wait to no Friday. Oh, come on now. Can I tell you why you can't wait to Friday? Oh, they ain't promising to you. you. <laughs> Amen. Do not, you already know what somebody prophesied to me. I'm going to get saved Friday. They're lying to me. <laughs> they lying to you. Come on, Pastor. They don't even know. They know why they lie. Because they're boasting. They don't even know if they're going to be here tomorrow or not. All right. Amen. So you start banging on folk, get up here in the pulpit, prophesy to the Lord, dust said the Lord. Next Friday, you're going to come into a lot of money. He lying already. All right. Lying to you already. Amen. If you're going to receive anything from the Lord, you're going to receive it today. 